I ordered this lens straight from Japan. Uh, this is the uh, Yashika Yashinan 5 centimeters f2. You know, back in the day they used to use centimeters instead of millimeters, so it's a uh, 5 centimeters f2, right? And yeah, it's, it's kind of dirty outside, inside, but quality is superb. You can't tell very well, but it's got some dust. It doesn't have fungus inside, but it has uh, some kind of thin thin film, like uh, looks like oil on the lenses. That's actually because um, the oil from the aperture blades or like from the aperture blades mechanism kind of evaporates when it's under heat and uh, it, it ends up going into the lenses. So we should be able to cl clean that really easily. But first, I want to talk about the tools that we're using today. Here we have uh, some rubber stoppers. I got these uh, from Japan. All right. But you can buy them on eBay. I mean, you can buy them on uh, Amazon or whatever. Just search for like rubber camera lens tool. They're not that cheap though. They're like anywhere between $20 and uh, 40, but they're like super useful. We got the blower for removing dust. We got this uh, kind of rubber. I like to use it as kind of friction. Just make sure everything goes well. We got some lens wipes. And uh, we got this tool. It's used for opening lenses. You can also find it online. These are super useful for opening things. First thing we need to do is uh, remove the front cap. So uh, you gotta experiment and find one that uh, fits well. By the way, sometimes these old lenses, you can uh, just twist the uh, this black part off. But it doesn't seem like this kind of lens is like that. So we'll find out after we uh, take out the front cap. Okay, this one looks like it works. So I'm using the bottom rubber to keep the lens in place. Uh, it's got its cap on. By the way, this lens is not radioactive, all right? And I'm going to use this and just slowly unscrew it. Like you might think that these rubber things are like useless, but actually they're like super, super useful for uh, lens repair. Like so, so useful. Yeah, this is really kind of dirty. It doesn't sound dirty. I mean, it doesn't look dirty, but you can uh, hear it. Sometimes you need to uh, use some screws. In that case, uh, you might need some acetone to like um, loosen up some of the paint they put on them, like some glue they put on the screws. But if we can avoid that, let's, here we go. It's, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's kind of really, um, what's the word? It's kind of grimy. So I'm going to use just this regular tissue. I'm not going to use this on the lens. I'm just going to use this on the metal parts. Just the wet tissue to uh, wipe away all that dirt. Make sure that's nice and clean. Okay. So this lens cap came off. Looking at this, sometimes lenses have uh, screws like right here and right here, but this lens does not have a screw. Instead, you have some kind of notches on the sides. Those notches are for uh, for removing this. So uh, we're gonna use this lens tool. Uh, these aren't actually very expensive. I got this one for like ten dollars from AliExpress. And uh, just uh, be careful not to not to scratch the lens. That's like the hardest part. But it's not actually hard. You just just gotta watch out. Find the notches. Okay, there's something here preventing me from reaching it. Ah, I see there's two levels of notches. There's one notch here, one notch here, another one back there. 
it's got a little kind of scratch so it looks like this lens has already been serviced before that means it might be easier to open now so we're gonna tighten it up now not using too much force I like to twist the lens like this like I don't I don't like twisting the the actual tool because you can scratch by accident but you have more control like this you know actually once it gets out enough we might be able to just use the rubber tool in fact let's let's try that right now I like to buy these old lenses and uh, repair them like sometimes you find these lenses like on eBay and they're like uh, maybe ten dollars twenty dollars because they got fungus or something or they're like dirty and they got dust but if you got the tools you can make them like new again okay so we're actually gonna use this to kind of catch the element because sometimes Sometimes there's like multiple elements and you don't want them smashing against each other, so. Yeah, be careful. There we go. So, let's do a little quick inspection. Oh shit, <laughs> okay, you gotta watch out. This actually looks good, but we're going to clean it anyways uh, in a bit. We're going to use the blower. Just to get a little bit of the dust out of there. We're going to keep pointing it away from this, you know. And uh, while we're doing this, I'm going to just set this aside. Make sure it's nice and safe. I'm gonna cover it with this. I'm not sure if you can see, you probably can't, but there's quite a bit of dust here on the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that up. Don't be afraid to use uh, multiple Kleenex things because these are only like a dollar for like a thousand or something. So I'm not gonna touch the blades. That looks okay. Actually, just very carefully because you don't want to screw this part up I use this one I'm gonna get a new one cuz uh, they're cheap Wow look at that can you see well yeah very ew as I said uh, no need to be afraid with the uh, q-tips poke out the dust You also got to be careful not to blow the dust in deeper, you know, so you got to watch out for that kind of thing. Anyways, this is looking good. Uh, there's gunk out. Actually, let me just take care of that right now while we're doing this. It's quite a big, bit of gunk just on the outside rim. Let's squish this little. Yeah, maybe that's why I got this for 40 bucks, but the optics look really good. And all I care about are the optics. Not really care about the outside. Oh my, look at that. Yeah. But it's okay, it's all about the optics. Dang, it's nasty. But yeah, I like using old vintage lenses. You know, they're nice and cheap. There we go. Again, in case anything fell in there. There we go. All right, so this is good. I believe. Make sure one more time. I'm gonna look it up in the light. Okay, never mind. There's there's like a slight uh, film on the last element there. So ethanol. I know you can see very well. 
we're gonna use some of this ethanol on the that bottom element there I didn't spot the uh, the little kind of fungus or film it's got put a little bit too much so I'm just gonna like flick away the excess and uh, I'm gonna slowly in a circular motion clean away that fungus and stuff next turn around okay don't don't forget these are very cheap feel free to keep getting new ones gotta make sure the lens is nice just in a circular motion now this is like pure ethanol so it should evaporate pretty quickly uh, you should never touch the surface of the lens with um, something that's dry. You should always use something that's like slightly wet. Okay, that looks really, really good to me. Maybe clean the back uh, later. But we'll leave that one to the end. And cover it. This is the uh, more important one. This is the one that's got like all the uh, oily gunk and stuff. You can't really see it, uh, even if I hold it up to the camera. So, uh, this time I have uh, some nice wipes for cleaning lenses. This one only costs a dollar, you know? And it uses very special cloth so it doesn't scratch. Got these at my local pharmacy. You can see lens cleaning wipes. But you can also use the ethanol if you like. There we go. So we're going to start with the rear element. Just like that. You want to use circular motion. That should be good. It's, I'm gonna just dry just a little bit. Just, just like that. Although it should dry pretty fast. That looks good. And while I'm at it, I'm just gonna rub some excess oil off. Just, sure that it's not too oily there we go make sure this is as good as new just one blow is enough one or two one two now we got the front element nice big one same thing You want to try not to push anything into the edges, by the way, but that's more of a problem with uh, modern lenses. This one seems to be okay. All right. And uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, this is, let me, I'm going to check it. kind of hard so yeah, I don't know if you can tell but it's looking super clean very 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 nice but yeah this lens goes for like $250 but I got it for 40 because it was uh, dirty it's gonna clean this one more time just one quick wipe All that gunk. Okay, so now we have our elements. They're all clean. Outside needs a little bit more cleaning. This is pristine. You don't want to drop it in there. You're going to scratch it up. So, uh, 
uh, we're using the rubber things as you can see we're gonna put it like this squeeze it in there wait maybe not you want to be able to push this in there so see these rubber things are so awesome Just, uh, put it like this and then you flip it make sure it's not like crooked or anything and uh, start Yeah, start turning. We'll turn as much as we can and then we'll use the uh, tool. That is nice and smooth. Okay, it won't turn anymore. So we're gonna put these in here. Now we're gonna take our tool. We're gonna make sure it uh, it's very snug. We don't wanna force it, you know, just cause we might, we just wanna make sure it's nice and snug. Just like that. Easy peasy. We got our uh, cap. Make sure there's no dust once again. Put it in here. And start screwing it in there. and just start spinning it in. Yeah, it's it's as easy as that. Well, of course, some lenses are harder than others. Like uh, some lenses have screws, so you need like a small screw, screw kit. And some lenses have um, glue on the screw. And when that happens, you just have to put some acetone, like some nail polish remover on the little screw and leave it there for a few like uh, seconds. But this is my first time opening a uh, Yashinan, by the way. Yashika Yashinan. Okay, this one is not all the way. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're not done yet. We still need to clean the rear element from the outside, but that should be easy. Look at that, it's looking like new. I can't believe it was only 40 bucks, you know. I wish I had a lens cap though. So, uh, this rubber thing is so handy. Uh, first thing, I'm just gonna clean around the contacts. Blow. We have a choice. We can use a lens wipe, we can use one of these. I already use one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use my trusty ethanol. Yeah. It's got like a little bit of fungus on the corners. There we go. I don't know if you can see it. Try to put it. Just like that. It's good as new. Awesome, right? And that is how you you get cheap lenses and you clean them up. Very nice. And we're done. You can find them in the markets and stuff. You can find a good $10 lens. Uh, these are the most expensive, I guess. They're like $20 to $30. And uh, yeah, good cheap dirty lens. So, 
You can order this on Amazon or eBay or anywhere really. I got this also from, well I got this from AliExpress, but you can find them on Amazon. This one lasts $7, $10. They're, they're easy to find. This one is just called like a rubber lens tool and this one's called like a camera lens tool. This is just a standard blower. Uh, this is ethanol, cost a dollar from the pharmacy. Just one dollar, you know. And uh, yeah, don't forget the cotton swabs. They're very cheap. Feel free to use as many as you need. And if you want, you can get these lens wipes. They're like a dollar, 24 for a dollar. But yeah, perfectly serviced Yashika Yashinan 5 centimeter F2. Uh, probably one of the best M42 lenses. Got it for 40 bucks because it was dirty and stuff. But as you can see, it's as good as new now. So yeah, thanks for the stream. I'll see you around. And thank you.